Welcome to Chetufa TV Productions. Chetufa TV Productions, connecting you to the world. Greetings, Chen Champions. I want to greet you this morning uh, on a Sunday morning. Remember, in the past, I once promised you that I am going to be giving you, when I get opportunity, uh, some Sunday spiritual messages. Uh, this is where we go deeper in the spirit. Remember, this is a platform of the spirit. And as we are praying as intercessors, there's always uh, time that the Lord will reveal things to us and give us some information some insight into what is happening spiritually and uh, such messages also need to be shared and we would want to dedicate uh, these messages to the sunday uh, days uh whenever i get an opportunity i shall be doing that as i promised you in the past right so we are looking at Munangagwa uh, living in the days of the rejected king Saul. uh this exactly is what is happening to emerson Munangagwa as we speak right now because his time is over the days uh he's living in right now are numbered so you would find that uh, uh from first samuel uh, chapter 15 where Saul disobeyed disobeyed the lord he was given instructions there were things that Saul was supposed to do uh in terms of uh, destroying of uh everything that they had captured from the amalekites but uh Saul decided to do otherwise he decided to do his own mind and he instead he spared quite a lot of other animals. And he was saying that uh, he wanted to be using them for the sacrifices of the Lord. And yet that was not the instruction. And uh, when the prophet Samuel is sent to Saul to speak to him, they spoke and uh, Saul wanted to like dodge the issue, like pretend as if nothing has happened. Unfortunately, Samuel tells him that I'm hearing the, the, the bleating of sheep uh, and and uh, the, the the goats, what is happening here? Uh, and then Saul had to come out clean and tell the truth. So what we see then happening is uh, the rejection, where Samuel even says to him, uh, sacrifice is, uh, obedience is better than sacrifice. So if you thought that sacrificing these animals to the Lord was more important, then you are mistaken because what is more important is the obedience to the Lord. And that is what the Lord looks at. So God rejects uh, Saul, and uh, time went on after that. And you remember what happened in First uh, Samuel chapter sixteen. In First Samuel chapter sixteen, uh, we find that uh, the Lord says to Samuel, "How long will you mourn for Saul, since I have rejected him as king of Israel?" And uh, I want us to understand that this was after also quite a number of years when the Lord revisited. Uh, the prophet Samuel and started to ask him about uh, him still mourning because it pained him so much that Saul had been rejected by the Lord. And uh, the Lord is saying, how long shall you continue to mourn for, for Saul? Uh, I have already rejected him. So what it means simply is that uh, Saul continued as king of Israel, although he was rejected way back in chapter 15. And uh, he continued to be king, yet he continued to be king of Israel. So uh, anybody who would see Saul, you know, continuing in those years still as king uh, of Israel, who would think that Saul is still the king of Israel, yet the kingship of Saul, it, it, the, 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 the rulership of, uh, of Saul had already been cancelled in, in the spirit. But God was no longer seeing Saul as the leader of his people anymore, although Saul physically looked like he was still in charge and everything going on well. So by this time that the Lord is visiting, his servant and asking him for how long shall you mourn it means it had been quite a long long time after the rejection of Saul uh, that the prophet Samuel continued to mourn for the uh, destruction of the house of Saul so this is what is happening to Emerson Mnangagwa Mnangagwa has been rejected by the Lord the time of Mnangagwa to go is over the time of Mnangagwa to go is over and this we will say it over and over again. In the realm of the spirit, the days of Mnangagwa are already finished. All these other things that he's still doing and trying to, you know, play some tricks, some shenanigans, some political debt and thinking that this could safeguard him. That is not going to work. The idea of trying to uh, extend his term to 2030 and, you know, making noise about uh, the Shabangu, 
and uh, removing the MPs and trying to uh, amend the constitution and all the disaster that he's doing, it is not going to work for him because the time of the Lord is over. So, so many Zanu PF people, unfortunately, they are not able to see, Marakashi are not able to see those, those, those blind supporters of Zanu PF, they are not able to see how the spiritual realm is like right now. So our prayer really is, I wish these people would have their eyes opened. You still remember what happened with Elisha. Elisha had to pray for Gehaz and say to the Lord, may you open the eyes of this foolish boy so that he can see also the things that he's failing to see. That's our prayer also to the Zimbabwean people uh, who are supporting ZANU-PF and also those that are enabling ZANU-PF who are still speaking like Varakash, speaking like Sanya Twe, speaking like... Uh, you know, the rest of those others who are beating their chest, uh, thinking that they shall be on and on and on forever. They don't know that if they had been given an opportunity to see through the window period of the spirit, to see what is happening on the other side, they would find that the seat is already uh, not occupied by Mnangagwa anymore. And that was going to give them a warning of what exactly they have to be doing in this season and in this time. So Nangagwa is living in the last days and the days of a rejected king Saul, who may be physically there, but spiritually not there. The Lord has already removed Nangagwa from Zimbabwe. And all that is needed to be done is for uh, intercessors and uh, the chain champions to understand what is happening in the spirit so that they can begin to walk as according to what the spirit is saying. This is why I am always telling you on this platform that we need to continue uh, to keep the spiritual charged through our prayers, our intercession, and the declaration of the word of God over the nation. This is going to be helping because as we also bind things on earth, especially the things that are bound in heaven already. The Bible says what you bind on, uh, on earth is bound in heaven. Th th that scripture simply tells us that when we stand in faith on earth and we bind, heaven will also agree with you and bind. So that's what it means. But in this time, in this uh, uh, season, it is even worse than that because we are not binding so that heaven can bind. No, we are we are declaring already when heaven is already, is already bound. In heaven, it has already been done. So what we are saying is the freedom of the Zimbabwean people is already at the hand. While we still have many other people who can't see that, we still have many Zimbabweans who are operating you know, in doubt. Some are operating in uh, hopelessness. They don't hope that things will ever change again in Zimbabwe. They don't believe that, you know, uh, really ZANPF can go out, Mnangagwa can go out, and Zimbabwe can have some new leaders. They still are saying mm, with the ZANPF and knowing what ZANPF is like because people are used, you know, people get used to problems. When uh, people have overstayed in problems, at times they embrace the problems so that the problems become themselves. But that is not correct. That is wrong because the time of the Lord is what is most, most important. Yes, it could be, it could have been 44 years. That's a long time indeed, very, very long time, truthfully speaking. But that is not a matter to God. That does not change the plans of God for Zimbabwe. The plans of God for Zimbabwe will remain intact. The plans of God, uh, when the time of the Lord approaches, you will find that what he has bound on, uh, in heaven, what he has written already in heaven, what has been declared in heaven already will just happen without, you know, whether uh, 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 people understood what is happening or not. So we are entering a time that uh, Mnangagwa himself is supposed to be, you know, given grace to understand the times in which he's living, failure of which he might uh, lead to, it might lead to disaster. So what we are talking about is the plans of God for the nation of Zimbabwe, that those, the, those plans are not abandoned yet. The Lord has not abandoned Zimbabwe, has not abandoned Zimbabwe, he has never left Zimbabwe. The Lord, in fact, has been in Zimbabwe for a very long time. I've been uh, or giving examples of uh, many situations that are happened in Zimbabwe where I was saying this could only be the Lord. I gave the example of Zhuta. I was telling you about those Zhuta. And they said those Zhutas that fed people, you think it just happened just like that. And how would come they just disappeared? I spoke about the, the diamonds that just started appearing from the soil, just on, right at the surface of the ground. How, where did they come from? How, did, how can that happen? You see, it is not even scientifically, uh, it can't be scientifically proven. What really happened 
And what happened later on, they just disappeared and things like that. We saw how gold was just, you know, booming out of the soil from different places. People just discovering gold and families being able to survive through that. A lot of communities being able to survive through that. That was the hand of the Lord. And we also found that a while Zimbabwe is said to be the worst economy, the most dangerous place to live, but we don't have people that are living as the skeletons of, of that we have seen in countries like Ethiopia and things like that. Why didn't that happen in Zimbabwe? While things are even tougher in Zimbabwe, you'll find the people of Zimbabwe even developing fat cheeks and you'd ask yourself, what is happening with these people? People even putting on very beautiful dresses and, uh, you know, uh, very smart when they are going visiting or in churches or things like that. Why? It is because the Lord has given grace uh, over Zimbabwe for the people of Zimbabwe to survive in a certain mysterious way, miraculous way, because the Lord's end is still upon Zimbabwe. But the time now has come that the Lord was holding Zimbabwe for until uh, the season of this nature uh, to, uh, to, uh, to approach. And it has now come. And this is the time that Mnangagwa is in and he does not know it. I wish he knew that his days are numbered, his days are over. Already the Lord is working towards a new set of uh, status quo in Zimbabwe, which is going to be a development and uh, an upgrading of Zimbabwe and uh, new leaders that shall fear the Lord and progress and prosperity coming over the nation of Zimbabwe. So this is it. Uh, this is what is happening. These are some of the things that the Lord uh, has been revealing even to me as I was praying that no, uh, Mnangagwa is just in the season of a rejected soul. So this is what is happening, family. Uh, let us continue to pray and uplift the word of God, declare the word of God over the nation. Freedom is coming. Freedom of Zimbabwean people is a reality. It is only God that can bring freedom to the nation of Zimbabwe, not even a man who unto those that put their trust in horses and chariots because there are many and not trust in the Holy One of Israel. But as for us, we trust in the Holy One of Israel. And definitely the freedom of the Zimbabwean people is going to be realized in this season and not even later. So Mnangagwa is in the last days, the days of a rejected king. So thank you so much for joining me on this show. And uh, for those that have not subscribed to this channel, please subscribe to this channel and like and share and also put a comment and uh, tell us what you think. Thank you so much, family. Remain blessed on this uh, blessed Sunday. I will continue to give you uh, more and more shows.